Hello, my name is Dele, Dele Shosumi, and um, I play Afrobeat, I live Afrobeat, I breathe Afrobeat, and I've been dubbed the Afrobeat ambassador, spreading the joys and love and uh, teachings of Afrobeat worldwide, and um, I'm based in the UK, I'm based in London, and um, yes, currently I've just released my third album with Wawa 45s, and you can see I've got the t-shirt, You Know Fit Touch Am which literally means you can't touch it or you can't mess with this or you, you can't come near this or don't take this lightly. So don't take me lightly, don't take what I do lightly, don't take Afrobeat lightly and yeah, spreading the joys and the message of Afrobeat, which is more than just music, it's become a way of life. We're here at the Passing Clouds tonight where I'm going to be performing with uh, the likes of Tony Dudu and um, we've got loads of DJs on uh, tonight. We're going to have a real great experience where we'll take you on a journey, a uh, musical journey. Uh, we'll expose you to all the extremities that you can flutter, dance, jig, rock, groove, move and enjoy. So, if you're not here tonight, I'm so sorry. You're gonna to have to watch the little video clips that will come online at some point in time. But if you're lucky to be here, I'm sure you're gonna be saying something positive about the, how good you, how good a time you had tonight. And this night is an open the gate at Passing Clouds night. It happens bi-monthly, and uh, it's usually a collection of artists coming under one night's umbrella to take you on a journey from around about 9 p.m. all the way to 4 a.m. in the morning and there is no way you're not going to enjoy this. I promise you. Hand on heart. Can you tell me about your music career, how you started, who you played? And... Uh, well, I, I would love to tell you all about me and all that but you know, yeah. I will tell you just go, go to my website <laughs> Check out deleshosimi.org, D-E-L-E-S-O-S-I-M-I.org. Um, it has my brief biography, speaking about the fact that I started playing with Fela Kuti, the original, uh, the originator of Afrobeat, around about the age of 15. I had started sitting in with him and I joined his band around about 16. And um, since then I've just been playing Afrobeat up, up until now. I've played worldwide, I've played with a lot of uh, artists based from all parts of the world, you know, and I continue to do so. And I do a lot of teaching, I do a lot of mentoring, and I do a lot of master classes and workshops promoting the culture and the way of Afrobeat. Like, can you talk about a bit more like about the relation that you've got with Open the Gates? Um, what you think about Open the Gates as an organization, as a platform for musicians? And uh, also, because you've, al you've already performed right in 2011 at the venue that we had. I met Open the Gates in 2010, I think, and um, I did perform with them in 2011, and then I performed with them again last year. They were consultants and programmers for the May of London Festival at the Trafalgar Square. So, yeah, Open the Gates, um, I think what they're doing is quite interestingly liberating for a lot of. Um, musicians who remain in the underground. There's a very, very vibrant underground circuit here in London that never gets to the mainstream media. And most people will never hear about these artists on the mainstream level. But there is a vibrant scene where you will not hear it on the radio, you will not hear it on TV, you will not see it on the, uh, uh, in the major news media. But those who know, know. And Open the Gates is one of those community groups, community organizations that gives a bit of a push. It's hard for them, I know. It's not easy, but you know what? They're determined, they're focused, and they're relentless. So, hence you got me tonight again, coming back again. And, you know, it's, uh, they have difficulties, but they know they know how to make it happen and because you know in life the difficulties you face is not supposed to make you say okay you know what i'm not doing anything i'm not doing anything anymore the difficulties are such that once you overcome those difficulties you look back and you say damn i flew over that hurdle wow 
and then you're better prepared to face the next hurdle. So the more, the harder it is and the more you overcome, the more difficult it will get, but then the more prepared you'll be to keep on, keeping on and keeping on. So yes, open the gate, thumbs up. Great people, great gathering of um, beautiful people, you know, kindred spirits who like to party, who love music, and who love live music, most importantly. And there was a lot of uh, give and take energy wise, you know, it was a great night, I loved it. <laughs> to open the gates again they pulled up another great night with great people people have left with a lot of memories and they are looking forward to when next I'm gonna be performing in London so yes I cannot complain at all at all give it up for open the gates